Well, I hope everybody had a safe and happy new year. Hope everybody's got all their fingers attached to their body still. Had a pretty good New Year's myself. Just kind of hung around the house and ringing it in the, with the family. Got a first mailbag Monday of the year. Got five little envelopes here. Let's go through them and see what we got in them. So the first one comes to me here from Catskill, New York. Using this old razor exacto knife here. I misplaced my uh. Another blade. I'll find it here in a little bit. Two of my New Year's resolutions is to clean my desk up. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, kind of gives you a peek. It's pretty messy. Anyways. I'm not sure why I got this card. I really don't know. Maybe I got it on a good deal. I remember looking at it. I don't remember. It says Pratt's Rock in Prattsville, New York. Hmm. Looks like a fairly old card. But I don't recall why I got it. Anyways. And the second envelope comes to me from South Southington, Connecticut. Never heard of that one. Interesting. Let's see. Let's just do it like this. I like these cardboard envelopes, but sometimes they're a pain. It is what it is. And there's the envelope. Jim sent me a thank you. No problem, Jim. Let's see what Jim sent me. Oh, yeah. I actually forgot about this one. This is, let me double check here, make sure. Yep. This is the Mount Airy, North Carolina granite mine. It's one of the largest granite mines in the United States. If um, It may be top three, I'm not sure. Anyways. Back this summer, when we went to Mount Airy, we did a uh, squad car tour, the Mayberry squad car tour. And one of the stops was this quarry. Now, I'm not sure where we were at in relation on the postcard here. I, I really don't know. This mine is pretty big. It's pretty big now, bigger than this, obviously. Um, I just thought that was cool just to get this car because, you know, it, it, we've been there. And this kind of shows you how it looked, you know, back in the day. This is probably, oh, I'm going to just guess and say 50s, maybe 60s. I don't know. I just thought it was kind of cool, just a little, you know, memento of the past of um, a little attraction that we got to see on vacation. And, uh, you know, if y'all want to see it even more, just take a look at the video. I'll put a link up here somewhere. And the next postcard here comes to me from Libertyville, Illinois. Never heard of that one either. Lots of interesting places I'm coming across here. That's a kind of neat little envelope. I like that. Simple and effective. And then they got wrapped up in some cardboard inside here or some poster board. Get a little cut there. And let's see what this is. Oh, well, I forgot I wore this. Uh, this is in my hometown. Excuse me. This was in my hometown, if I'm not mistaken. This is the South Pascagoula Elementary School. This was... Um, I'll see if I can find a current day uh, picture of it or an uh, aerial photo. This got taken down... I want to say after Katrina, it's fairly close to the beach, so it got some, probably got some damage inside of it. Um, I forgot when it was. I want to say it was right after Katrina. It may have been right before Katrina. Anyways, um, 1951, their postmark, so it's kind of an older card. 
Um, yeah, this actually looks like part of, um, similar to the old high school that was there in the World War II, but this is not the old high school, but this is a elementary school. Um, they actually just call it South Elementary, and now it's a, like a soccer field, baseball field, and that sort of thing. Um, there was another elementary school a little bit further south that uh, it was big enough to con you know hold both the amounts of students, or you know they dispersed the students out across different um, schools. But yeah, it's no longer there. Um, never seen it before online. I don't even remember what I paid for it. Probably. I don't know. It could have been a good bit. I, I don't know. But like I said, I never saw one online for it. And when I did, I had to grab hold of it. It's just interesting. You don't see too many um, postcards with elementary schools in you know little podunk town, Pasco, Mississippi. So it's kind of interesting. And this next card here comes to me from Mountain Home, Idaho. That's an interesting town. slice right there speed this process up a little bit yeah I say that and yeah there we go. all right this is a another postcard from that Mount Airy uh, quarry uh, let's see if I can look and kind of compare the two you know obviously this was fairly present day um, Wow this thing has like three postmarks. It's been all around the world. Uh, 2001. Okay. So it's fairly, you know, 20 years old. That's mm, not recent. Anyway, um, you can kind of see the similarities of it. And then like that. There we go. It kind of lines it up with this straight edge here. But uh, back to this card. Um, I don't. I want to say the tour comes in from this side right here. There's an old house out there that was, um, I believe it was the offices for the uh, quarry company. That was all, the whole house was made with that uh, marble, limestone, whatever it is, whatever material it is. Um, supposedly they do a lot of the Washington monuments and some of the curbs and stuff like that. And, and DC is made from this material. You can kind of see it how they got it laid out there. You know, probably getting ready to ship out or something like that. Anyways, um, so it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah. Anyways, we pulled up there in the car and we just sat there and kind of overlooked the quarry. It was closed. It was on like a Saturday or Sunday, or whatever. Anyways, I just thought it was kind of neat to have the uh, a, a older version and a newer version, kind of the same area and the same process. That's, Kind of why I do the whole postcard thing, the, the history, and you know, I know it looks like you know last year, and or, yeah, actually last year now, and you know, 20 years ago, and probably, poo, 60, 70 years ago. So that's just kind of you know a little backstory of why I do the postcards. And the last postcard comes to us from fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. We all know where that's at. I've never been there. I might go there one day a couple of dollars and go home yeah oh yeah this is Helen Georgia this is the White House Square Alpine Village Helen Georgia this is where we went for my daughter's fall break we actually ended up going to Oktoberfest there in Helen Georgia um, Short, long story short, the town was like a mining town. Whatever the major industry in the town was died up in like the 60s, 70s, 80s, something like that. Um, they came up with the idea to uh, revamp the town and make it all the barbarian German looking theme. And literally every business in the main strip there is like this. Even the Wendy's. The, you, you, you wouldn't know it was a Wendy's unless you saw the little Wendy's sign out there at the road. So anyways. Um, we spent a couple days here and uh, had a really good time. Um, it was Oktoberfest. It was packed. We had a great time though. Um, right in here, there's a little bar. They had the beer tent set up, the little beer gardens, and there's all kinds of just different shops. And um, imagine Gatlinburg on a way smaller scale, you know, with the uh, German theming. Most of the stuff is in a uh, a strip. 
uh, main drag, I guess you say, in town. I'll see if I can put a photograph up over here somewhere of a, kind of an aerial view I took of it. But yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, this right now is a coffee store, a coffee shop, because I actually sat there and drank coffee, looking out those windows, watching people go by. Um, I'm not sure what these are now. I want to say these are stores, obviously, but I can't remember what stores they were. But uh, anyway, I thought that was pretty cool to have, um, uh, you know, a pho photograph, postcard, whatever, of you know, place that we've been to. This, I'm going to guess, looking at the outfits, that guy looks like he's kind of got some bell bombs, maybe um, 70s maybe early 80s i'm not sure there's no postmark on this or any uh um you know dates or anything but yeah i thought that was pretty cool to get um that card there you know knowing we went there and um i think i got this card after look at the postmark here yeah september i got this before we went so it yeah, probably been relevant if i opened this up before and kind of showed you while I was there, but you know, things happen, things don't happen. Well, this first mailbag Monday of the year, kind of interesting. Got some stuff from Mount Airy, Helen, Georgia, some ho local hometown stuff, and I don't even remember why. Anyway, like I said, I hope everybody had a great um, New Year's, Christmas, safe, happy, festive. Everybody's got their fingers, no fireworks, no DUIs, that sort of thing. I've um, got a lot planned for this year. I'm actually planning a couple road trips already and getting things lined up. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting year. I had a great year, 2022, and looking forward to what 2023 brings. So if y'all would stick around, and we'll just see what we can get into. But anyways, appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you next time.